Okay, we'll make it a good one. Okay, when you're doing faster by grouping, the same procedure works, okay? We need four terms to do it, and here they are. Here's four terms, now don't get scared. Same procedure, you form your two groups. There you go, now we gotta use that greatest common factor knowledge that we developed from that last video, Charlie. Okay, look at the first group, Charlie. We have a 12 and a negative 44, a 12 and a 44. Charlie, what's the, what, what are, what is the largest what is the greatest common factor for a 12 and a 44? What is the largest number that divides evenly into the 12 and the 44? 4? That's a good one, Charlie. It is 4. Very oh, nice. Yeah. Now, how many x's can we take out? Remember, we're limited to the term that has the least number of x's. Don't forget, we, all, we also got y's in there. Okay, I'll walk you through this one first. Charlie, look at the uh, first term, the 12x squared. Okay, how many x's are there? Two. Two, and how many y's? None. There are no y's. Very nice. Now, the second term, the negative 44, has one x and one y. So, Charlie, how many x's can you take out? Only one. Only one x, because the negative 44 x y only has one x. Now, can you take any y's out? Nope. No, you can't. Why not? Because you don't have any y's. Okay, because the first term doesn't have any y's. So, what is our greatest common factor, Charlie? Four x. It is a 4x. Okay, that's a little tough one there. Now, now, Charlie, what do I multiply the 4x by to get that 12x squared? What is it, Charlie? 3x? 3x. Very nice, Charlie. Now, we go to the next term. What do I multiply the 4x by to get the negative 4, 44, sorry, the negative 44xy? Don't forget about the y. Negative 11y. That is a negative 11y. There it is. So let's review what Charlie said. You multiply 4x times 3x is the 12x squared, and the 4x times the negative 11y is the negative 44xy. There we go. And now Charlie's favorite step. What is it, Charlie? Cheat. <laughs> That's right, we cheat. So we'll go ahead and throw that 3x, subtract 11y over there. Now it makes it a little bit easier. What is the greatest common factor for the second group, Charlie? Plus y. That's right, it's just a plus y. And again, you see, the plus y times the 3x gives you the plus 3xy, and the plus y times the negative 11y does give you that a negative 11y squared. It'll always work this way. All right, so then, don't forget, now, we're not done. Okay, we look at our two groups. Now, we realize, okay, both groups have a 3x subtract 11y in there, so we're gonna, again, Take that out and bring it out to the front. Remember, we're doing the reverse of multiplying those polynomials together. We're doing the reverse. We're taking it back out. So, when we take out the 3x, subtract 11y, Charlie, okay, watch what happens here. We take it out in front and notice what's left over, Charlie? 4x plus y. 4x plus y. Very good. And again, we shade out those 3x, subtract 11y's, and we realize what's left over, Charlie? 4x plus 4x and the plus y. There we go. Okay, so now we bring down our 3x, subtract 11y, and bring down our 4x plus y, and all we gotta do is box our answer there. And that takes care of factoring by grouping. Oh, what fun! <sighs> Next time, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the whole process, meaning we're gonna factor trinomials. Now, remember, trinomials only have the three terms. Now, if you've been paying attention in class or reading the notes, you'll realize we're going to take those three terms of the trinomial and we're going to rewrite the middle term to give us four terms. And once we have four terms, we do the factoring by grouping. Oh, what fun. We'll see you next time. Get to work, Charlie. Watch.